Good morning all. Can you turn sunlight from a solar panel into cash? Yes, cash, money. So I'm gonna give this a try using this equipment here. The main thing in the middle is an ant miner. That's a cryptocurrency miner. And I'm gonna be mining Bitcoin. And of course you can turn Bitcoin into any currency you want. Uh, on the left I've got the power pack, so the solar panel will feed the power pack. Now if the sun goes in, I'm going to cheat a little bit by using energy from the batteries in that pack. But then that did come from solar over the last few days anyway. And on the right I've got um, a networking cable with a little uh, repeater unit so that I can connect to my Wi-Fi and then to the internet so that the ant miner can report its earnings and we can get the cash. So the first step is to connect the solar panel to the power pack and let's see how much solar energy we're generating and it's 81 watts. Now that's because the sun is not straight onto the panel at the moment. You can see from my shadow that it's at quite an oblique angle. This is a 240 watt solar panel and we can probably realize about 200 watts into this power pack. The next step is to connect the ant miner to the mains. Now I'm gonna use the mains outlet on this power pack. It's got um, a pair of three pin mains outlets just need to switch that on uh, now we need to press and hold that button and then press and hold that button okay so that turns the mains on then we switch on the ant miner and this is the awesome bit because it should make a fantastic noise And there it is and it'll go through a boot up sequence and part of that boot up sequence is to run the fans up to full speed and they're really noisy yeah they make quite a whine but it will settle down and I've massively underclocked this ant miner because I don't want to draw more electricity than the solar panel can provide. The power pack could provide that electricity, but I want to do this with the available power from the solar panel, so no more than 240 watts. The next step is to connect the ant miner to the internet. So I've got this 20 meter long network cable. And that runs down here to this wireless repeater unit, which is connected to a small power bank. Now that's connecting to my Wi-Fi and putting the uh, internet onto that blue cable. Let's have a look at how much energy is being generated. So the top number, 86 watts, is coming from the panel. That will increase as the sun comes round. The bottom number, 237 watts, is how much the ant miner is consuming. So it's just under the nominal 240 watts of the panel. So I think that's fair. And as I say, it will also draw on the battery pack in this unit which is uh, also sunlight because it was previously charged by that solar panel there's the ant miner so now it's just a case of leaving it running all day and seeing how much money it earns let's connect the ant miner to a hashing pool so for mining I'm going to use a mining pool I'm going to use this one, Pro Hashing, so register now. 
So I've uh, set the new account to be juju256, suitable password, not bothering with email because it's optional. I have read and agree to all the terms. Let's press register. So there's my new uh, mining status. Now I need to do the auto configurator to set the miner up to uh, hash into this pool. So we've got a bit main uh, ant miner. Oh, this one's a V9. Four tera hash. That's the one. What algorithm? SHA two five six. Yes. Would you like to mine a specific coin? No. Uh, V nine. I won't bother with a group name. We'll have all the standard defaults. And it says the connection information needs to be stratum plus TCP pro hashing com. That thing. Uh, Juju two five six. And the password will be uh, n equals V nine. I equals V nine. So here in the Antminer mining configuration, I've put in the Stratum plus TCP pro hashing, my worker name, Juju256, and N equals V9, that could be lowercase, it's just a name. I is V9, which tells pro hashing which miner I'm using. So that's fine, save and apply. Waiting for changes to be applied. Now I'm just going to look at the uh, advanced settings because that's where I've done the underclocking. So let's go into advanced settings. And here under frequency I've actually set it to the minimum frequency which is 100 megahertz for the uh, hash chips, the ASICs. Uh, it can run all the way up to, well I think the default is 650 you can run it up to 750 but that's overclocking it so um, I'll stick to 100 megahertz because that's what sets the power level at just under 240 watts so if I go any faster than that uh, I'm going to be gobbling up power from the batteries in that unit and it won't last very long so that was on 100 megahertz I shall leave it there let's have a look at the minor status And it says uh, that we are hashing with a giga hash rate of 647 giga hashes per second. So that all looks good. Uh, let's go back to the pro hashing page and go to the dashboard. And the miner is there and it is mining. And we haven't set any uh, coin balances yet, so that's the next thing that I've got to do. So in the payout proportions, it automatically defaults to Litecoin. Well, I think I'm going to set it for Bitcoin. Uh, there's Bitcoin, so let's add that in. And I'm going to set the payout proportion to 100% Bitcoin. Uh, can I save that? save addresses first. I need to put in a Bitcoin wallet address so I'll have to find one. Right, I found a Bitcoin address so let's type it in. Oh, it's a long one, bc1qv uh, puz7. This is going to take a while. Uh, right, that's the address I'm sending it to. It's um, a wallet address. So let's save the proportions and addresses. Everything was saved successfully. Let's go back to the dashboard and see if I've earned anything. And it's saying I've still got some Litecoin, uh, but it should now, once it starts... Um, mining further, put up some Bitcoin, it's saying my balance is less than one US cent. But we'll see what happens by just leaving this thing running all day. Uh, right, the Bitcoin banner has just come up and it's saying that we've earned two Satoshis. Now two Satoshis is not very much, uh, so that's less than one US cent still. Uh, so it's just a matter of uh, time now. I'll come back a bit later. 
Just a quick check on the mining setup, make sure it's behaving itself. Well, we've got plenty of sunshine. The ant miner is whirring away at 100 megahertz ASIC clock speed, so it's pretty quiet. And let's check the power pack. And we've got 122 watts coming in from the solar panel. Uh, the ant miner is still drawing 237 watts so that all looks good except that we're gobbling up the battery but that's fine because it was charged with solar now these miners used to be very expensive when they were released because when they were released they used to make money over and above the cost of the electricity trouble is they don't anymore because hashing difficulty has increased and now they make a loss so you can buy them really cheap so these would have been a thousand pounds a couple of thousand pounds each and now I paid something like I think 60 pounds for the V9 the L3 plus I paid 65 I think doesn't work but it looks like I might be able to fix it and uh, this D3 was very cheap actually it was 50 pounds including postage and they do seem to hash just as effectively as the other ant miners. So they, on, they can only uh, make money now if you run them on free electricity. And of course solar power. Now I noticed that the uh, battery on this power unit was getting very low. Yes, there's only one bar showing, you can't see it. But as luck would have it, the sun's come back out. It hasn't actually been a very sunny day today. So this has been mostly running on battery power. So let's go and see how much cash this system has generated. And the answer is 51 Satoshis. Now I've just looked it up and about 100 Satoshis is one US cent. Yep, that's right, an American penny, less than a British penny. So it's been running for about four or five hours. Um, I didn't start particularly early, but if I'd run all day, moved the solar panel around and got the full 240 watts, then with that uh, 240 watts, I can, in a day, earn about a penny. So yes, you can turn sunlight into cash using one of these cryptocurrency mining rigs. But you don't get much. Uh, as I came out, it just went from 51 Satoshis to 53 Satoshis. But it's still only a halfpenny, a half penny. It's not a lot. And unless you've got uninterrupted sunshine, which I didn't have today, then you're going to drain down the batteries in this power generator. And one cycle of the batteries in this power generator is just not worth the halfpenny or the penny if I've spent longer on this that I've earned. So it's not worth it. But if you had lots and lots of solar panels and lots and lots of ant miners, then yes, in principle, you can turn sunlight into cash. Cheerio.